Hey folks, I'm Rick Mathis, owner and clinic director of Align Pain Solutions. Today, we're going to show you three exercises for knee pain. Now, people can have knee pain for a lot of different reasons, but one of the main reasons we see in our clinic is when the muscles around the hip going down to the knee are not doing their jobs to properly position the knee, to put it where it's supposed to be. These exercises are designed to remind them how to do that and to put the knee back into the position it should be in. Now, before we begin, a few ground rules. First, this video is not intended to be medical advice. So it's always a great idea to check with a medical professional to ensure that you don't have an issue that requires medical attention. Second, pay special attention to the form that we show on this video. Small deviations in form can yield big differences in results. And third, if any exercise causes pain, skip it and move on to the next one. Now we're going to show you sitting knee pillow squeezes. So sit on a block or chair and get your feet six inches apart, pointing straight, ankles directly underneath your knees. Make sure your big toes are well connected to the floor. You don't have to press them down, but you don't want to feel like they're floating a little bit above the floor. Now put a six inch thick pillow between your knees. Now you're going to sit up nice and tall and you're going to roll your hips to put an arch in your low back. Now, holding that pelvic position, squeeze the pillow with about 70% of your maximum effort and relax. Squeeze, relax. Squeeze, relax. You're going to hold each squeeze for about a half a second. You're squeezing hard enough that you feel some work in your inner thigh muscles, but you're not trying to break the pillow. This is sitting knee pillow squeezes. All right, we're now going to show you sitting abductor presses. Sit on a block or chair with your feet about six inches apart, pointing straight. Your big toes should feel like they're well connected to the floor. You don't have to press them down into the floor, but don't let them float off the floor. And your ankles should be directly underneath your knees. Now put a belt or a strap looped around your knees. The size of the loop should be adjusted so that when you pull out on the strap, your knees are just a little bit more than a fist width apart from each other. Now, sit up nice and tall and then roll your hips to put an arch in your low back and keep it there. Now, in that position, you're going to pull out on the strap with about 70% of your maximum effort and then relax. Pull, relax. Pull, relax. You're going to pull hard enough that you can feel some work in the outside of your hips, but you're not trying to break the strap. This is sitting abductor presses. Now we're going to show you an exercise called sitting floor. You're going to sit with your butt and your back tucked right up against a wall, your legs straight out in front of you. Now, tighten your thighs and flex your feet back towards your knees hard. If your heels come off the floor like Jenny's just did, that's perfectly fine. Just means you're able to get full knee extension. Now, make sure your feet are pointing straight up. Don't let them point out to the sides. Now, pull your shoulder blades together and down and keep them there. Rest your hands in your lap, palms up. You're going to hold this position for three minutes. This is sitting floor. Okay, we're done. We hope these exercises helped you. If they did, congratulations. We're really glad that you're feeling better. We invite you to subscribe to our channel and please press the like button below and leave us a comment. We would genuinely love to hear from you. If the exercises didn't help you, don't despair. There's still hope. What that likely means is you simply have pain for reasons other than what these exercises were designed to address. We invite you to reach out to us using the contact information that follows so we can partner with you and create an action plan to get you out of pain and get you back to your life. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.